Good afternoon, everybody. This is ish number two. I keep saying issue, sorry. This is episode two of the Paint with Diamond show. Um, we are going to be kitting up our project, and if there's time, we will actually make a start. Um, but first of all, I need to uh, introduce someone extremely, very, very important to my channel. It's Yorks Crafter. Hello, everybody. Okay. So, do you have any news of significance from the last week? Um, Thinking about it. Um, just a comment that was made by somebody that we um, missed out when sometimes when a kit comes, mm. it will be a partial. Yes. It won't be the full picture. Yeah. So what, yeah, the paint that we're doing on this one, it's a full. And what that means is that every single piece of that square is going to eventually become uh, diamonds or drills. Or if it was a partial, what it would be is it would be a picture and then just some of it would have glue on it. And it's used really more for highlighting. So if you had, for example, a picture of a bird, you'd have the whole picture maybe with a tree and the branch and then just the bird would be um would be glue so it's highlighting the bird on top of the um the tree so it gives it a slight 3d effect um personally i don't like partials uh, and i heard a very good expression because like i say i don't i'm not so keen on rounds um and i was watching a youtube video today and she summed it up perfectly she only buys rounds by by accident um which pretty much sums me up or if i so desperately want that particular pattern it's not available in the square if i want it enough i will get it in round i've got a couple of i've got a couple of star wars ones in round um i also have a very important announcement that not even julie knows about um this is going to be the last ever stream video done on the channel paint with penny ever because straight after the channel i'm actually going to be changing my channel name so that was the bit i was waiting <laughs> for um yeah guys i've been wanting to do a channel uh, change for a long long time and mark's mods has very kindly helped me with some graphics and i didn't want to do the channel change name change without the graphics um, when I started this channel, it was mostly about painting. And obviously, as my crafts have, have evolved, um, I do less and less painting. I'm, I'm not excluding painting, but painting has become a very small part of it. So I'm doing a channel name a change, which will go through just after the stream. Um, I didn't want to do it before. So shall we crack on? Yes. So today we are kitting up and what kitting up means is you obviously get all these bags of, of little bits of plastic. You need to organize this so that my phone has gone mad today. I'm going to hide it under the pillow in a minute. Um, so you've got all these drills. You want to organize them into something that just makes it a little bit easier to access. Um, we said last week about the equipment that you need and that you, and you don't need and we said that what you can do these have all got numbers on them so you can access them um so all you really need to do is cut the top off and put a little bit of masking tape on them um slightly uh, better method would be to use some zip lock bags with oh, this is a very big one but you get points you can put them in the ziplock bags and these actually have a seal on them for you um but what we decided we were going to do on the stream we were going to buy some little boxes yeah you can get these on amazon for about a fiver um if you can't find these and you're desperate you can go into play chemists and things pill boxes are very good um the only problem with it is that seven this only holds 28 so because this is a 40 color pattern i've had to buy two um now to save a lot of time and a lot of boredom i have already begun to kit up because i've got 40 colors 
going through 40 colors you will all fall asleep probably by the 10th color so i've kitted up all bar five colors so i will be kitting up the last five with um julie's help yeah so um, I'm the same i've got some yeah. of the little containers you know like penny showed the big tray last time yeah. Um, mine's got yeah. about 20, this, 25 colors. This yeah. is the one you're using. This is like the ultimate storage, um, which yeah. for the amount that I need, I think is a little bit too much for me. Um, but if you are only ever doing little patterns and things, I would say that's that's absolutely perfect. Um, so we have a few comments. We've got Mark's Mods says hello. Hello, everyone. Looking forward to this live. Uh, build with Adrian, you missed the first live one. Go and stand in the corner. <laughs> uh, Yorkshire Crafter says, hi, everyone. Uh, Dave Say is, I'm flicking through these, I do apologise. Dave Say says, hello. Christine Say says, hi, Penny and Julie. Uh, and for the benefit of Dave and Christine, just in case you missed the beginning, I did say that this is going to be the last ever stream on the channel Paint with Penny. Um, because afterwards I'm going to be doing a name change on the channel. Um, so, uh, right, so how do you kit up then? And I'll put you on view on your own so you can show. You may kit up the same way as me, but we'll, we, we might have an opportunity to have two different methods here. Change. Look at her with the flashy camera changes. There we go. Yeah. Right, so mine has got 25 colours. You got the short. No, I don't know. Did I get the long straw with um, 40 colours or did I get the short straw? <laughs> oh dear. No, I've got 25 uh, colours and what I do on mine, I put the symbol and i put the dmc number oh. so like on this one i'll put the symbol that's on the canvas which is that far there and then underneath i put the dmc color so if i want to save them or store them you know in case if a kit comes if they've not got enough diamonds or so when you finish the kit will you take that label off and put yes. another one on next time you use it yes okay yeah so i've got four left to kit up yeah and i've got my labels already so let's i've just realized that the actual putting the drills into the tub is going to be the same so while you're doing that, I'm actually going to kit up four more of my colours. And okay. then I'll, I'll do the last one on stream, which I suspect will be exactly the same as you. Um, so, yeah, just relieve a bit more boredom. So, sorry, carry on. So, bag number one there is 153. So I'll look for it on here, which is the S. So I'll put the S on the corner like that. And then I will open bag number one. Take that off there. And then try and not to spill them everywhere and actually get them in the container. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> oh, you nearly got it, did you? Nearly, nearly, nearly. That's number one. So number two is the L, which is 159, which is bag number two. Want to stay in the bag? I don't want you to stay in the bag. I want you out. 
but they don't always want to stay in the bag, do they? Mm -hmm. some, some, some want to come out prematurely and some don't want to come out at all. No, sometimes they just fly out and they go everywhere. Number three. So we've got Chris Campbell who said hi everyone. Hello. Always nice to see you, Chris. And Adrian says if he goes and stands in the corner, he'll miss this live stream. Oh, so, don't do that, Adrian. Yeah, we will give you a suspended sentence on that one then. <laughs> there we go. And then the last colour is M318. Um, Cut this one. Oh, oh gosh, the camera keeps going out. Yeah, of focus. You used to watch the show your rings off, didn't you? <laughs> blame my lovely husband for my rings. No blame necessary. I think the more you talk about him, the more I think I missed out on a good catch there. <laughs> No, he's a lovely guy, isn't it? He'll do so much. Does he actually do anything for himself? He's, you know, he spends so much time doing stuff for everyone else. He's just like that. That's his personality. He yeah. just will be doing it's things not, for people. It's not a personality trait in any way whatsoever. Sorry, say that again. I said it's not a bad personality trait in any way whatsoever. No, no, that's true. So I know. Uh, um, I know I get to, I mean, I'll do, I, I don't, I really don't mind helping other people out, but I do occasionally get times when I just think, oh, I hope nobody rings me today. I just want a bit of time to myself. <laughs> it never works like that. No, no. I'm usually all right at two in the morning. No one rings me then. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I must confess, actually, I have... I have in the past told people I'm on an early shift when I'm actually on a late shift, just so that I don't get bothered in the evening. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, right, that's you kitted up, or are you still going? No, that's everything. That's all right. 25 colours. Okie dokie, then. So I'm going to try and be a little bit flash and change my camera before I change. Um, I can't find it. There we go. So before I change the view to me, so I do it ever so slightly differently. Um, obviously, we, I'm using these for the benefit of the stream, but um, the actual way that I kit up, I use these little tic-tac boxes. And you see that I've labeled them. And once I put the, the drills in there, they are actually in there permanently. You know, that's their permanent home. So I don't need to be changing labels. Um, it's just the way I do it. I will say that if you can watch a hundred different um, diamond painting videos, you'll see a hundred different ways of doing it, and not a single single method is wrong. It's just how they do it. Um, so what I then do is I select all the colours that I will be needing. The reason a lot of these are blank is because I'm actually changing my my, my method. But um, so I'll pull out just the ones that I need for that pattern. And then they'll sit there in this work in progress box. But for the, for the purposes of this one, obviously I'm using these. And I only put the number on them. And the reason I only put the number on is the key is written on the side of the pattern with the DMC number. So if I'm doing a Z, I want 225. I know 225 is there. Um just how I do it. I'm not so bothered about the pattern. So I have one more left to kit up. Normally I'd have a piece of paper here. Um, I'll just take a piece of paper out from the printer and I'll just give it a little fold in the middle like that and I'll pop it down. I haven't done it today and then I'll pop the little boat on the top and then I get my container ready. So this is 3865 and then I take my bag Check the number 3865, turn it over, give it a hold the top, give it a really good shake, make sure there's nothing on the top. And then I slice the top, trying to keep that number intact. 
I, I do a check, double check, triple check system. So I will then pour that into the um, into the boat. We did call this a boat last week, didn't we? There we go. And I've, one's missed the boat. So you can see why I've got the piece of paper now, can't you? Um, and we have two, what do we call those? Stowaways? Yes. Yeah, stowaways. So you can either sit there and work out what colour they are uh, and put them in the correct pots. You can leave them and just not use them. Or you can chuck them away in, in like a little trash pot. Uh, I'm going to leave them in here. So now I'm going to do my double check. 3865. That is definitely 3865 I've opened. And then I will just carefully pour those in. And I find because the round drills are slightly bigger, they do get stuck in the grooves. So you might just have to push them. But usually with squares, you can just tap them and repeat that another 39 times. And you've got your drills all nicely set up. As simple as. Yeah. So the next stage is, hello, oh, we're actually going to start drilling. I believe, aren't we? Yes. So, I need to so how will you make a start on yours? By the way, I will just say, we, we don't want to be doing the whole thing on stream because otherwise it will just turn into a, watch us put diamonds on a, on the thing so what we'll do is we're going to try and do this say over four streams um and we'll we'll, we'll divide let me just steal my camera view for a moment so what we'll do is we'll we'll divide the canvas up into however we do it we'll we'll do a quarter on one stream a quarter on the next and what we don't finish on one stream we'll actually do off stream so if we decide we're doing this much in part one if i only get up to there i'll do the rest off stream and then the next week we'll we'll, we'll have a, a, a new quarter to start on uh, i just think that, that will work a little bit better for the stream so yeah. Julie, take us away what i normally do is i will cut the canvas into sections Right. Do you want me to go over that bit or do you want me to leave yes, that bit? It sounds like you do something very similar to me, um, but I don't think it will hurt to do it twice. Um, some people will just pull the cover off, sorry, pull the cover back and then work on it. Chris Campling, do you do that? Don't you? you pull the whole cover down and then you work on the bit that you're working on and then you just push the cover back when you're finished. I think. My lovely husband, I hope you don't mind. I am borrowing one of your rulers. I hope that's okay because I've got mine. Well, it's too late now, isn't it? <laughs> right. I'm not going to mark the table. I promise I'm going to do it on the tray. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of you using a tray as well because any drills you drop will get contained within that tray. Yeah. So what I do is I will score the canvas into sections, but obviously okay. you don't want to be going gung-ho. You don't want to be going so hard that you cut the canvas underneath. Correct. But all you need to do is do it really lightly to sort of score the paper. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you cut into the glue, so long yeah. as you're not cutting all the way through the canvas. So nice and gentle all the way down so that's the first strip cut I don't know if you can't see that on the camera but that's the first strip cut and then i will go along and do it section by section and then the same <coughs> down the canvas as well so you're not, you're not measuring that you're just cutting it into roughly sections that you feel you can deal with yep right we said we we're going to aim for 16, did we? Well, I mean, if you want to cut it into four, and if you can work on one massive section, that's mm -hmm. fine. I can't work on large sections, so I would be working on, I would be cutting it into about 16. Yeah. Um, but a lot, for me, I use a different ruler, and a lot of what I do is based on the size of the ruler, which I'll I'll show you in a, in a, in a bit. 
Um, but obviously, I think the emphasis we're making here is that you're, you're cutting this down into chunks that is a little bit more manageable. Yeah. Um, manage if, you, if you had an orange, you wouldn't eat the orange in one go. You would you would peel the orange and then you would take segments out. And if mm. you've got a large mouth, you might be eating two segments at a time or three. But most people might eat one segment at a time. It's essentially what we're doing here. Sorry. And you know I love my analogies. <laughs> now a diamond painting is a tangerine. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> you gotta remember, especially if you've got pets or if like me you were wearing a big fluffy jumper, when mm. you peel this backing paper off, you've got the risk of things sticking to the uh the sticky bit. Yeah. So that's that cut and I will try and peel back the first section just to show it's cut. Yeah, you can see it just there. It's just yeah. it's just cut it. So it yeah. goes down to you not be able to admit the first cut? But you've got, you've now exposed, because also if you took that entire back, you see where your hand is, that's yeah. still right across the painting. If you took the entire backing paper off, your arm would now be stuck to the part that you haven't worked on yet. It, it would, yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah. why we're chopping it down into smaller sections. Yeah, so that's yeah. how I do it. So mine, mine is extremely similar um it's just the cooler that's different and the um and the knife really so um i use this now for the purposes of this stream this is just a ruler that happens to be seven centimeters across um ignore everything else i will introduce this into a, into a stream one day but just for today it's a ruler that happens to be that thick and all i do is i actually don't cut the whole canvas straight away i take the corner i then lightly score like so and then i will take this side and i will do the same And I do two light scores. Um, it's hard to explain, but you can kind of feel um, when you're through the paper because it feels a little bit different. The resistance is slightly different. Um, but that's all I do. Um, I'll just do that one square. When I've made that, when I put the drills onto that one, I will then butt this against the drills and then I'll do the second cut. And then I'll do the next cut there. And then as I work on it, um, just out of interest, how, what direction, how do, you, uh, how do you drill, Julie? Do you work across like a typewriter? Do you start in the middle and work out? or? I start on the left because yeah. I'm left-handed. Because if I was to do it with my right, I would stick into the glue. So, I so you're starting on the left because you're left-handed? Yeah. That's interesting because I start on the left because I'm right handed. Yeah. No, but that's I I used to start there and work across and then I'd go there. But what I've now started to do more recently is I'll start this square off, then yeah. I'll do this one and then this one, then I'll go there, there, there. Right. Um yeah. it's just Generally, you, you're working with a circular, the, the actual focus tends to be sort of circular, doesn't it? Which yeah. means that these are not the focus of the image. So yeah. I don't want to use the word boring, um, but these corners generally are of less. You, no one buys a diamond painting because they go, oh, I really love what's in the corner. 
Um, so by getting rid of the corners first, it then brings the interest in during the middle of the, 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 the painting, and then you finish off because you want to finish it. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's the way I work. And I actually work from the left because I'm right-handed, because I can work that way. Yeah. Um, I find if I, if I lay some drills down there, and then I have to put some on this side, I'm having to put them in at an awkward angle. So I do yeah. like, um, I've lost my drill pen, there we go. I do like to work them in like that. Um, but yeah, so I've cut, I, I've already measured this. This is going to be, um, well, the last, the last section is going to be slightly smaller, but um, this is going to come out at 16 squares. So yeah. what I'm going to end up doing is working on four squares for the first stream. Yeah. And when I peel back, Oh, I haven't cut all the way to the end, look. Um, so I will peel this back. And then, as you see there, there's, there's three distinct colours. Um, so you've got a big section of green, a big section of red, and a big section of... So what I'll probably do is start on the green, and I'll just pop that backing paper back on so that I can then work on the green. And then once that's done, maybe I'll work over there yeah and i'll just see what spaces i've got um yeah. so i tend to work um big areas first and then i then do what i call a, do a dolphin hunting when when you get to the point where you've got a few individual ones left i'll try and fill in the edges um so that i'm gradually working into the middle yeah become a bit more i call it dolphin hunting because when dolphins hunt for fish, what they do is they circle the fish blowing bubbles and that the, the fish don't like the bubbles. So they end up getting closer. And then what they do is they gradually come in closer and closer and closer. So the fish are all packed in really tight. And then the dolphins just go, Phoom, lovely lunch. And yeah. that's kind of how I work. Um, so I pick out the big bits and then towards the end, you've got, and, and any that I might have missed out, this is going to be quite a tricky one because the lines aren't really, really sharp. This is one of the joys of picking up a, a, a more cheaply made one. Um, but yeah, so that's that's how I work. Um, so how are we going to, we haven't thought this, how are we going to do it? Are we going to have one diamond painting and the other talking or are we going to flip between the two? um or shall we actually that's a better idea isn't it let's have a little split screen job shall we yeah right so um i'll let you start i'm kind of pushing you first um quite a lot today um so then you are the superstar aren't you, you are <laughs> the one that got you're the one who's got honorable mentions from big youtubers Oh, I have. I was, I was, um, I was fangirling uh, today. Um, I had a very, uh, yeah, big uh, YouTuber actually mention me on her channel, saying that she was one of the ones that she likes to watch. Um, but yeah, I, I think last week you had a little bit of an attitude of, I don't know why you've chosen me to co-host. I still don't know. I'm not special. As I said to you last week, I do pick my co-hosts very carefully. Yeah. Um, I don't have a massive channel, but I don't want someone to wreck what I have been working towards. And, you know, and I think um, when, when a YouTuber who's got 12,500 subs says that they like to watch Yorkshire Crafter, I think there's something in that, isn't there? <laughs> in, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see you make a start then. Right, so I'm just going to load my pen up. Oh, you go right in the middle. I've gone right on. Oh, see, I'm a bit, I'm a bit OCD, you see. 
So I, I sit there taking wax off the edges because I, I'm a bit OCD like that. But then I spray the end so you don't get wax on you. Right, so what I do is I have a look at the area that I'm working on and I will pick the majority colour the majority yep. symbol which is j is that one three eight six zero it's like a brown like a brownie color so, you keep talking i will grab my little list right. I grab it beforehand. So, so what what was the color number uh three eight six zero Three eight six zero. Yeah. So three eight six zero is a cocoa. Yeah, yeah. 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 Obviously it depends how you make your cocoa. Yeah. Okay, so what are you actually doing there? Just gently shaking it. And then they've mostly turned the right way up. So the boat has actually got little ridges in them. So yeah. as you shake it, it's any, I don't quite know the science of this, but obviously as you pour them in, some will be the right way, some will be the wrong way. As you shake it, the ridges are going to knock the ones that are the wrong way round and flip them the correct way. But at the same time, it's not going to flip the ones that are the correct way. It's... No really clever science really isn't it it is yeah so you're not tempted to have a go with your 200 place or 10 place or whatever it is do you want me to this has got a 10 place um, at the end. No, let's, let's keep it simple for now let's let's <laughs> one place so i just i was expecting you to go no not after your disaster from last week <laughs> right so here we go okay so are you going to just place them or are you going to check a pattern i just place them as i go so i start right at the very bottom so as i'm working up my hand yep. will ever have something to rest on right so i will explain check a pattern block and confetti when yep. when we switch to me but that's three new words we've just learned, isn't it? Yeah. And I've, I'm not actually an expert on I, I used to just place them like you do. And I thought, I'll give the checker pattern a go. And um, I've actually found it extremely useful. Uh, yeah. And what I often do is if I've got a big block of one color, I will hit that first with a checker pattern, but I won't go back to it because by having the checker pattern, it's covered up half of the pattern. It's like a little cover. So when you, if you touch it with your side of your hand, it doesn't actually stick to the sticky. Yeah. So then I do the rest of it. Then I go back and fill in the checker pattern, but I'm probably confusing everybody. So all you're basically doing is just placing them within the circles if there are circles. Yeah. And obviously it's over the symbol if you haven't. Um, some people call these circles training wheels. Yes. Uh, they call them other things as well, and I can't remember them all. But if you've got a circle, obviously it's got a guide. My, this one of mine has got circles on them. Um, but obviously... If it's only got a symbol with no circle, then what you need to be doing is placing them so that the symbol is as close to the middle of the drill as possible. Um, I don't think I explained this before, but diamond drill, they both mean the same thing. A drill are those little plasticky little, how am I describing this in simple terms? Mm -hmm. I, I personally don't like calling them 
diamonds because they're not actually diamonds, but I think they're called diamonds because they sparkle like diamonds. Yeah. I'm having problems with this template, so... Ah. I'm trying to load it up and it... So you're actually no better than me at it. Um, isn't there, I, I think I saw somewhere you have to kind of load it up and then do something with it to get rid of some of the wax and... I'm just, after last week, I'm never going to try it again in public. <laughs> uh, I think. Uh. Sorry, I bet you're all laughing at me. No, it's fine. I call it entertainment. <laughs> trying to get ten drills. Every time I go back down and try and reload it, it one thing like yeah so is it fair to say that if this is your first time diamond painting don't have a go at the template sir no i mean i'll show you hang on yeah <laughs> i can just about manage with a far place yes, and that looks like my granddad's teeth no <laughs> so no, yeah get, get good with the one placer and um and then start using maybe if you bought another kit you might get a three placer and then sort of use the what three placer maybe this company's trying to be a bit flash and go oh you get a, you get a nine place so it must be really good oh very good right here we go drum roll let's see you do it then uh, oh no hang on all right. one. I'm gonna I'm gonna knock things over hang on. Right. Let me yeah. Am I gonna be able to place them? Right, so concentrating breathe. There we go. That's really, really good, but I noticed you needed an awful lot of concentration. Yeah. So but no, that's a really good job. And obviously, if you accidentally one plate, play, play, accidentally place one incorrectly, you've got your tweezers. You can just pick it up. Yeah, yeah. There's right. the color so, printed. I'm so, gonna steal the limelight for a second, and I'm gonna yeah, make a start yeah. on mine. So this is mine, and so I'm gonna peel away. I'm gonna decide which color I'm gonna do first. I think I'll just bring the camera in a little bit closer. Um, I'm still discovering camera angles and there we go oh no i thought i had non-fuzz then right so obviously it doesn't help that i've got a light and this is shiny so um i think i'm going to work on the green first so i'm just going to pop this is the majority this is not the green one and the green is k so look down the list K is, do you know, I can't see it. I'm going to just give it a little. There we go. K is right down there. So that's 3752. So I've lost my, my drills. Here they are. So 375. Is that right? 3752. I don't have a 3752. Oh no! Oh dear. All right, bear with me a sec. Yeah. That's look. That definitely says three seven five two. It does, yeah. Oh, <gasps> you know what I've done, don't you? No. I've kitted up for the wrong project. I have actually kitted up for the wrong project. Look, these are the correct drills for this. Yeah. Right? This is the project I'm working on. Yeah. Flowers. But going back to this sheet. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, right. <laughs> All I can do is switch over to you for a bit and i'm going to do a very quick catch up and i'm going to change my project 
Why don't you just get the other canvas save your kit in? Sorry, do the what? Get the other canvas out for the one that you have kitted up. Yes. That's exactly what I'm doing. But obviously, right. I've got a little tiny bit of a catch-up to do. I am so sorry, guys. I cannot believe I did that. So this has got a bend in it. So I'm going to, because I'm in a rush to do this, I can't wait overnight. I'm going to use Yorkshire Crafters' method of flattening. So I'm going to pull this back. If you remember us doing this last week, I've also actually checked the pattern, made sure I have got the correct one, which is a bit of a fundamental, isn't it? So I pull that back. Yeah. And then I've... That kind of explains why there's an awful lot of yellow and red for purple flowers. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh... Do you know what? I feel so dark. This is how you diamond paint. No, this is how you don't do it. <laughs> don't worry about it. I think I'm probably not the first, though, am I? No. Well, no. Surely not. No. Never mind. We can't all be perfect all the time. So I'm cutting the square. And like I say, you can kind of... It's like running it over smooth, and then when you do a second cut, it kind of gets a little bit rougher. Um, it, it's just really one of those things where I've got to... I can't really show you. Right, okay, so I'm caught up. Good. <laughs> so let's look for a prominent colour there. And I'm actually liking that yellow one, which is yeah. a, a double dot. Again, it's a little bit... the they're not they're not sharp so so we look for the double dots which are there so that's 3047 and surprise surprise 3047 is actually there yay so what i will do and this is something that will come with a little bit of experience i'm going to tip in either enough that i think is gonna be enough for that i don't need to tip the whole lot in if i only need to do two two sections um but never more than i can handle in a tray yeah and this is a bit of a precarious one i'm gonna leave that lid open the reason i'm gonna leave that lid open by the time i've covered up all of those symbols I might actually have forgotten what colour that is. Yes. So I'm just using that as a reminder. However, you've got to put that somewhere where it's not going to get tipped over. It won't go back in the box. Well, it might do. No, it won't go back in the box because obviously the lid is open. Um, so I'm going to pop it there. And then... So you see that some of these drills are the correct way round, some are upside down, and I'm I don't actually need all of them done, but I will so that there's a lot. You see there that they've all they've all got I, I don't understand this science. This is this is Einstein science to me. Yeah. But look, most of them are the correct way round. And then when I've got rid of most of the ones that are the correct way round, I'll give it another shake. And then that will sort the rest out. Yes. So I am going to do the checker pattern. I apologize if this is a really bad light. I'm trying to find a really good light. So if I had a big square, you know, actually, I'm going to I'm going to switch colors. Um, the reason being, I've just seen these M's. They're nice big blocks. They're, I think they're going to be better to demonstrate checker pattern. The yellow ones are a little bit shaped. So bear with me. I do apologize. Um, I mean, as you can tell, I prepared for this particular pattern so much. I mean, I didn't even know I was doing it until about two minutes ago. So checking, checking the pattern, looking for the M. Um, I find that when you first start the patterns, you don't know, 
you soon learn roughly where the symbols are. So after a while, if I'm looking for M, I'll start near the top. And if I'm looking for, say, a T, I know it's somewhere near the bottom. But M is the very first one, 225. And I know I've used that color before. So I'm trying to think. Oh, there we go. It's a pink. So, and this is where sometimes the colors, that's more of a brown on there. So it doesn't match the actual color altogether. So just a few. And we see we've got a rogue one in there. So I'm going to leave this open, but put it somewhere safe. Give it a little shake. And see, most of those are the correct way around. And so when I say I'm a bit more OCD with the wax, I actually take the wax. You see, I've just peeled the top bit of paper off. Yeah. And then I'm just, I'm using the wax from the edge. Ah, uh, yeah. And I see that's sticking out, so I don't like that. So I'll push that back in. And then I will use the, the bottom piece of paper to flatten it. Yeah. Again, you know, just because someone doesn't does something differently doesn't make them right or wrong. It just makes them different. Sorry, it just works for you. Just, yeah. Exactly. It's just I'm a little bit, I like to try and keep that piece of wax. Having holes, holes all over the place. That, oh, my God, no. And do you know that is actually a phobia, a fear of, of holes or something like that? It is, yeah, certain pictures of things, you know, like certain yeah. clips of some things, people have a, a funny reaction to it. Yeah, it's it's all odd to me, but then when I was a kid, someone with a nut allergy was a bit, I cannot find, a, oh, there we go, there's a, no, yeah, I'm trying to, I might have to put a diffuser on this light. Um, right, so I'm going to be working on this section of M's there. And I'm going to hit it with a checker pattern. So I'm picking up my first drill with my pen that's got a bit of wax in it. If you remember last time I used this, it wouldn't pick it up because we didn't have wax. And I'm just going to place it as carefully as I can over the line, uh, within the lines. Now, the next one, whereas Judy would perhaps go there, I'm actually going one across, one up. And then the next one, one across, one down. And I'm just doing every other one. Yeah. Some people will do a diagonal line going across, but the end result will be the same. And you're just doing every other one. Yeah. That actually works really well for the squares. No, it works very doing. well for the squares. It actually works a lot better for squares because you get that satisfying click then, don't you? You do, definitely. So. Let's do a few more. Now, do not worry about how fast you go. I personally would expect to be doing this whole square in roughly an hour. Um, but in actual fact, it takes between 45 minutes and an hour and a half, depending on how much, whether it's confetti or block. Um, but that's just me. Um, you may be slower, you may be faster. Right, so I have finished this checkerboard by going one every other one. And you see that there's all these gaps. What will now happen is you'll go back in. And I'm the next one I'm going to fill in is this one there. You see it's surrounded by four. Mm -hmm. And it will kind of guide you in then. So you can see there I've got like a perfect sort of a cross. Yes. Guided me in. If you find that one of the diamonds are a little bit too close, pushing that middle one in will then push the other ones out. And it just helps you get a little bit straighter. 
like so. Okay. And I try to work on filling in as many, one with as many sides as possible. Um, obviously, this one, I've only got three sides. Um, but what it, what it might then do is create more sides for the next one. Yeah. So just finish this block off. But you see, it's because you've placed the first ones carefully. I've actually just pushed that one up a little bit. I felt that was a little bit too far down. So I just pushed it up a little bit. Um, depending on the glue, tape, the quality, you can slide them around a bit. Um, now, are you a hard driller or a soft driller, Julie? When I first start, um, sort of when I sit down to diamond paint, I feel like I'm quite a soft driller. Right. But I get into the rhythm and I get into doing it, it becomes harder. I feel like I'm stabbing the glue and sometimes I have to sort of sit back and just... Yeah. I'm, I'm actually quite a hard driller and it's it's not right or wrong mm -hmm. um, but I find if you're hard drilling and you're pushing those drills in if you need to reposition them it does make it a little bit harder sometimes I'll sit down and I'll soft drill and I find that I can manipulate a little bit better oh bear with me a sec Right, the phone is now underneath the pillow. Okay. <laughs> so, you have a second, but now that I've done the checker pattern, you can see that they're all. I don't think that's perfect because I'm not a perfect diamond painter, but on the whole, they're rather straight, aren't they? Yeah. And. Then what I'll do is I'll perhaps do a checker pattern around this. I mean, I've still got more M's to do. Um, but obviously, the little M's there, I've got no choice. I can't check a pattern those because there's nothing to check them with. Um, but if you if you pick out the blocks um, and then checker it, then uh, that is, uh, well, that's blocking. That's block. Um, if you've got a piece that um, I'm doing, I'm working on another one at the moment and it's got 40 colors in total, but in this much space, I swear there's 35 colors at least. Um, and you're putting one or two of each color in and then you're doing a couple more and that's called confetti. Um, so very much like when you throw confetti on the floor, you get little tiny bits and they're all different. And that's basically, so that is blocking and then confetti will end up with confetti towards the end. Um, but if you get, I don't know if I can have a little sneaky peek at any bit to see if we can find some. Um, I think this is rather rather blocky. I, don't, I wouldn't call this block or confetti in places. There we go. There's, there's probably a bit there. You see that right in the middle there, there's lots of different colors in a small area. So that's yeah. what we call confetti. Um, now, when you get to this bit, you can see that's all the same color. So that's a nice big block. So this bit you will do quicker. This bit will be done a little bit slower. And that's simply because the color changes take time. Yeah. So, um, right. So I'm going to put us on to split screen. Yeah. And now we are, in effect, now going to be doing a, a whip and chat for the next six or seven minutes. Yeah. So um, how are you finding yours? Um, it's quite a dark canvas. So I think when I work more on it, I'm going to actually get my um, light pad out. Yeah. I, I do a light pad is something that I want to introduce. In fact, actually, as I've got six minutes, I'm going to introduce it now. Yeah. Because I have no qualms about introducing things that are free. Um, and I will explain that statement in a moment. So that now means I've got to dig my phone out from under the pillow. So Right, so what a light pad is, most of you will probably know, 
Um, right. Sorry, I've got I've got a diamond painting stuck to my light pad, and I don't want to reveal it yet. So, unfortunately, this is a really big light pad, so I can only really show you a corner of it. Um, so, as the name suggests, it's a pad of light. And this is way, way, way too big for this project, but I will demonstrate anyway. It does plug in. Most of them plug into a USB port on your computer. Some will, um, some will plug into uh, into the mains. So I'll switch this off um, for the benefit of it. And all it does is it shines light up. So what? Keep keep your eye on that. As soon as I turn the light on. Can you see how the symbols are so much more clear? Yeah. But the ones that we've already put drills on aren't. So it's highlighting all of the squares that you want to do. Now, these obviously aren't free. Um, and I do try to sort of do budget. Um, so what I'm going to recommend, um, I've, I see a lot of Facebook posts. If you mention the word light pad, You've instantly got a debate as to whether they're any good or not. Um, yeah. I personally think that they're absolutely wonderful and they really do help me, um, especially wearing uh, very focal glasses. Um, but equally, some people say that they're absolutely useless. And I would hate for people to go out and spend money on a light pad um, and then find out they don't want it. And then they're all coming after me. Um, so I don't know if you're all Android or iPhone, but if you go into your your phone store, sorry, I've got a message there. Um, da, 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 right. I use Android. If you go into your app store and put in the words light pad. One of these I've already got. Right, Lightbox. Oh, I haven't got this one. This is a free app. Um, I've All I've done is I've just picked one at random. I did, so I have already got one on there. And hopefully this will... In, there we go. So you open it up. I actually um, used that one. I downloaded that to my tablet. Yeah, if it would be something you know to try it instead of making a big investment in a light pad. Yeah, so I actually did that to see if it would be any good for me. And yes. yeah, yeah, now I wouldn't use this, but for free of charge, I've got a little try before you buy. So yeah. put the light pad on, take the light pad off. Is that better? That's the question that only you can answer. Yeah. So if you think that's better, then go out and buy a light pad. Um, and they're not they're not expensive, are they? No. Um, I can't remember. I've got two. I've got an A4 one, um, but I ordered the A4 one from a Chinese store, and I just couldn't wait for it, so I ended up buying another one, and I've ended up with an A2-sized Um which think, is actually too big for some projects, but I think the first one that I bought was an A4. Yeah, I think it was between ten and fifteen pounds. I think, right? If I remember correctly, yeah. It right. It's it's not a lot of money, but if you spend ten fifteen pounds and you find out that you don't really want the 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 light pad, then I now think that's now a lot of money. Um. So. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start using a light pad from next week because I've introduced one. Yeah. Uh, and that is now roughly the end of the show. Have we covered everything we need to cover? Let me just check my notes from last. Yeah. Click square is all I had. Um, so, yeah, we've covered uh, yeah. that. Yeah. So, there you go. In two hours, I have achieved this tiny, about the same amount as a thumb. <laughs> <laughs> um, right so obviously we want to try and cover this in four uh four episodes 
so yeah. 16 squares so i'm actually going to be doing four squares over the course of next week that's really good and that's that's quick um but i'm not intimidated by your speed because it is an individual hobby isn't it it is it's whatever yeah, yeah you choose to and that's really nice and what do you think sorry say that again i said i think that's really nice but what do you think i hmm. like it yeah like i say it's just a bit dark so i'll have to get a light pad on it but um yeah, yeah. yeah it, it certainly makes a difference right so from next week me personally I'm going to start re using my normal storage, um, which are these little tic tac boxes. Um, obviously, I'm building, oh, I'm showing you this, and I've not actually got the camera on me. So I'm going to start using these from next week. So don't, you know, it might be a bit shocked. Oh, you weren't using those before. And I will use a light pad. Um, I will most definitely put a light pad down as a want, not a need um yeah. i think my first one or two diamond paintings i did without a light pad um and i actually found i needed to take my glasses off and get really close up personal with the with the uh the design to yeah. be able to do it um once i started using a light pad um i could actually keep my glasses on and i could work from a sensible distance yeah. um so I'll still call it a one because I can still diamond paint without one. Um, yeah. And obviously these Tic Tac boxes are a preference. Um, and next week, what should we focus on next week? Do you think? Alternative pens? Yeah, we could look into that, yeah. Yeah, different pens. Right, we'll introduce some different pens next week, and I think we will introduce a, uh, a mod of right. I, I can't talk too much about tray. Let, let me show you my tray, and then that'll cover that now. Um, you can go out and buy these different boats. Um, that's fine. I, you know, I wouldn't criticize anybody. Um, the only problem I found with these boats is when you're tipping up, things, they can fall out. So what I actually did was these, try. so I've got two boats. One of them I've cut the end off and I've glued it on upside down and I've ended up with this. So all it means is that when I'm tipping my diamonds back in, you, can, you see they're not oh sorry i'll do that again because i didn't realize i did it off camera so i've got all my diamonds in there so when i tip it up you see they're not going to fall out yeah the only draw oh god look i've missed and now i've got a i've got my diamond oh jesus christ are these the worst tweezers ever oh i can't pick them up with these tweezers I'm, I'm actually having to slide it off. Oh, okay. That's why you get spare diamonds. Yeah. Um, the only trouble I find with this is that occasionally uh, they do get stuck down the end there. Or oh, I haven't quite tipped them in. And I've actually come across, if I used brown and then I switch to pink, where I've got a few brown ones stuck in there, I'll then do the pink and then I'll tip them all in. And then next time I use pink, I'll tip them out and there's loads of brown in there. Um, so I do have to keep checking it. But for homemade, I think this is absolutely perfect. Um, I've just super glued that bit on. And some people might think, well, that's no good. Um, I've got two boats that were free. One of them I was going to throw away anyway or give away. Um and um so i've just made use of a bit of waste material and i've just modified this so it works a bit better for me um it's just like i say when you're tipping them tipping them up they they do tip over so i'm going to be using that next week um and then i'm going to show you a pen that i personally like um 
And I think by the end of about four, five, maybe ten weeks, we would have got everyone to spend an awful lot of money, wouldn't we? <laughs> Right, so as I say, I will get on with four squares during during the week. I, I apologise for not doing it on the cam on camera, but um, this is going to be sixteen streams to do this if I did it all on camera. Um, and just I will, I do eventually. Look, I'm actually I'm just going to change my camera because obviously if I'm talking to you, I would like to look at the camera, which I think is this one. Here we go. Ta -da. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, I do, I do plan to do uh, work in progress and and drilling chats and things like that. But this this particular live show, um, what it will, it, it might end, it might evolve into something bigger or better or both or worse. Or, um, but for now, it's just slowly bringing people into the hobby you could go out and spend 200 quids worth or thousand pounds worth of stuff and i really worry about new people um spending lots of money on a hobby that they really don't know if they're going to stick to brilliant that this hobby is there will be people out there it's that that isn't going to be for them no. so uh, right so i think i've covered everything i need to cover have you covered everything? Is there anything I've forgotten? Not that I can think of right now. Just uh, maybe catch up on chat. Yeah. Um, right. So uh, I'll go back. back. He says, if I do, this is when I tell him to stand in the corner. If I do that, I'll miss the live stream. Uh, Chris Campling says, hi, everyone. I think I did respond to that um mark's mod says you can use my stuff anytime you want to well thank you now i've been practicing this all week nicoleska is that correct nickel nickel nick i don't know um so yeah she says hi penny and all uh christine say says whoops i presume that's over the uh use it i can't believe i did that <laughs> mark listen listen right i mean making mistakes is a is is a good thing if you learn from them yeah um, so mark mod says brilliant one penny whoops um yeah i think i did the, thankfully i well if i if i'd have only bought the one pattern i wouldn't have got that muddled up the, the amazon package that i've got is it's got four in one um and then christine say says another great show i love your avatar christine that is so yeah. it's little white. But I got a thing about white cats anyway. Mm -hmm. Um right, so um last week I thought was a very good show. Um we I thought we did quite well. Uh we did my my favorite comment was I'm not looking at the comment, I'm doing this from memory, but I know it was from David Bassett, and he basically said diamond painting isn't something that he's into but he's actually enjoying watching the show yeah which i thought was very good so if there's people watching it but not necessarily doing the show that's fine and you know if someone's getting an hour's worth of enjoyment that's absolutely fantastic uh build with adrian says brilliant one and uh we have a slight schedule so next week's show as I say, my shows are based around my time off. Um, so next week, I'm just double-checking my diary. We did discuss this before. Yeah. The show's going to be the same time, 1 o'clock, but it's going to be Thursday. Um, I have a feeling it's going to work out that it's going to be going over a four-week schedule, and then it will repeat the four-week schedule. So this week i've got tuesday wednesday off which is why i'm streaming it on a wednesday next week i've got sunday thursday off which is why we're doing it on a thursday last week i did actually have sunday monday off um but we did saturday because i was on a late i was on a very very late shift so i was actually able to do a little stream and then go to work um there won't be a stream the week after because i'm moving house Cheers. 
Um, so I would normally be off Friday and Saturday, and then I'm on holiday for two weeks. Um, but I'm moving house, and I've got a very good friend coming up to help me. And then I'm hoping to pop in and see a couple of people that are very good friends of mine and maybe have a spot of lunch with them and then drive the van back with all my stuff in and I don't know. So it's going to be a very, very busy week for me and I will probably be absolutely exhausted. Yeah. And um, before I finish the show um dave say says thumbs up to everybody thank you dave dave is one of the biggest supporters of, of everybody's channel that i know um brilliant guy to know get get on the right side of dave everybody he's really helpful um so i am going to be changing my channel name from about another hour um i would like to give a massive massive thank you to mark mods um, it's funny, I give him a call and I said, can you help me with these graphics? And he says, yeah, yeah, no problems. And uh, I said, oh, what's, what's your rough time scale, you know? And he says, oh, about a week. And I thought, well, okay, that's fair enough. It's probably a little bit quick, actually. Um, someone doing stuff like that in the spare time. And in the evening, he sent me a load of images. And I'm like, yeah, you pretty much got something really, really good um so he's then given me the files i've then jiggled them around myself and i've i've done fairly similar but a bit different i then ran them by mark and i said be quick he'll be honest do you like them and he says yeah they're fine so you will see them up a little bit later on my channel new channel name i'm now going to be known as penelope's pit stop which i think is a little bit more I don't go by the name Penelope unless I'm in trouble. Yeah. If I'm in real trouble, I go by Penelope Jane. Um, everyone's going to be calling me that from now on, aren't they? Um, but obviously, Penelope's Pit Stop, it's my little place where you can come in and see what I'm up to. It's also a little bit of a play on a, on a childhood cartoon I used to watch. Um, so... I'm going to say goodbye, and I know Yorkshire Crafter has a lovely saying to end her shows with, so I'm going to let her finish the show, and I can end my show with her saying. So, thank you, everybody, for watching, and remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Take care, guys. Bye.